Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well, and uh, I've got a political video video for you guys today. So I'm going to keep it pretty straightforward and, and short and to the point. So uh, we have a story here from Secular Talk. Shout out to you, Kyle. Awesome work, man. And uh, he reported from CNN. <laughs> CNN. Uh, it's a story about um, uh, the, uh, the Center for American Progress president, Neera Tandon, calling on Hawaiians to vote House Representative Tulsi Gabbard out of office after Gabbard questioned whether or not um, President Syrian President Bashar al-Assad was responsible for the chemical attack last week. So now Assad turned over his weapons a few years ago after he did a chemical attack. So I, I, I'm already on like air at the side of like Kyle from Sega Talk and Tulsi Gabbard as to having skepticism as to whether or not he's actually responsible for this. Now, Bashar al-Assad's a terrible individual. If he is responsible for this, he's even more of, an, of a terrible individual, and I fucking hate him. But to, to um, be against this, like to be skeptical about, skeptical about this is to not defend him. So... The reason why Tulsi Gabbard, who is one of the smartest Democrats in the country, by the way, and I don't know, I don't know why I'm holding this sharpie. I just need something to hold on to. <laughs> um, like, the reason why she's skeptical, skeptical about all this is because a she knows that regime change does not work in America. It's proven that regime change doesn't work. We'll get to that in just a second. But um, yeah, she knows that Assad turned over his weapons a few years ago, and um, she's skeptical. She's not saying that she knows whether or not. Assad did it. I don't know. No one knows. So, um, we, we need more, more evidence to come out in the coming days and weeks to come. So, um, but with that said though, I'm not happy that Trump bombed them. I'm not happy that President Trump did that because, um, he has no place now. On one hand though, if, if any of you still think that Trump is Putin's puppet, this should erase all doubt that, oh, he's Putin's bitch and Putin hacked the election, all this bullshit that isn't true. Okay. Russia did not hack the election, all right? And I'm sick of talking about the election because the election was, what, five months ago? Almost half a year ago already, it seems. It is. <laughs> so, um, but this should erase any doubt that he was Putin's puppet because he just bombed one of Putin's allies, which is Assad. So, that's one thing. One, number two, I mean, how can you not side with Tulsi Gabbard on this? I mean, like, she knows regime change doesn't work. We toppled Saddam Hussein in Iraq. That didn't just destabilize the Middle East. That ruined the Middle East. Killed hundreds of thousands of civilians and created the vacuum out of which came ISIS and al-Nusra and these other radical jihadist groups. So we, then we toppled Muammar Gaddafi in Libya. That created a safe space that made ISIL, now ISIS, stronger. And guess who led the charge to topple Gaddafi? That was Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. So I hate Trump, but I'm glad she's not in there either. I'm, I'm glad she didn't get in there, even though I don't I don't like him, I don't like her either. So we've been trying to topple Assad, and up to this point, it hasn't worked. So Kyle's Kyle's alluded to this on his channel. Rand Paul alluded to this in some Republican debates, and he's the smartest Republican in the country, by the way. You know, wh like when we armed the Islamic rebels against Assad, that that also created a safe space that um made ISIS stronger. And when we um when we gave them the weapons, they immediately turned over all of their weapons to Al Nusra. Which, is, which was an Al-Qaeda affiliate, and now they're their own jihadist group. So, regime change doesn't work. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like on it if you did. Let me know what your thoughts are. One thing is for sure, though, Tulsi, Gab Tulsi Gabbard is correct. So, that's all there is to say. Take care.